Hey everybody, welcome back to Landshark Garage. On this episode, we're gonna take out a shift shaft on the Camaro because the son of a gun is leaking. Look at Mrs. Landshark busting ass. Here we go. All right, so I got this little tool here. It's a GM transmission seal tool. I got a little lubrication to help. This is a 776 9250, and you're supposed to be able to just screw this into the shift shaft seal and pull it out. That's where all this blood letting is taking place. We finally figured out. Thought maybe we had a line going bad or some crap like that, but see, look at that mess. I'm gonna try and do this got to turn on the old cyclops listen to me groan so here's where my transmission fluid's coming out right there see let's get up there up close and personal and there is a seal that goes in there there's one in there currently and I was sitting scratching my head trying to figure out how I was going to get that seal out of there when I remembered that I had that damn tool. So, don't mind the fans. A little balmy again in South Dakota. I'm going to try and get you positioned so you can watch the shenanigans here and see if we can get that to come out. First run, you kind of drive that tool in and then you turn it and it bites into the rubber side of the seal and then you back it back out and then we'll put the other seal back in and that'll seal up one of the many transmission leaks that we had with the old snake eater car biter i don't know what the hell we're gonna call this thing but that'd be a dandy place for you to hang out and look i don't have a ton of clearance here that's gonna be part of my dilemma is being able to do this with very little clearance but we've got these dandy little magnetic camera holders good old Mortsky at Mortsky Repair got me onto that got them off of Amazon and they work just slicker than snot how's that so this is what this, this is what this piece of the tool looks like and you put this in screw this part into the rubber surface of the seal and then we use this bolt to pull it out the rest of the way and don't mind me grunting and groaning i'm a fat guy that happens so they say the best way to do this is to put that in there and give it a little just a little tap 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 a little tappy tappy i don't know how we're going to do that i have to i need a right angle hammer what if they make that i'd be surprised i might find that in my toolbox too Actually looked like it went in there a little bit so I'm gonna get the old 5 by 8 wrench let's see if we can I got so many seal picks laying on the floor I'll probably pickle myself I don't know if that's grabbing a hold or not. Well, I guess we'll find out. Let's put a 9 16 on there and start pulling and see what happens. Yeah, I sat here with several seal picks trying to manipulate it, make it work. And then I remembered I had this son of a gun. But I don't think I got it seated in there. So let's, let's do the old tap, tap, tap again. Probably because of the headers. 
<laughs> it's probably because of the headers. Hey, hon. Yeah. That red Mayhew pry bar, it's on the tool cart. Red and black one. I mean, I don't want to cut into your Amazon trip. Oh, fabric. That's good. It's 40% off and it's a good deal. The trick to it is driving it on there. not biting into the seal I mean the it's not the tools fault it's just that not being able to get a good I can't get enough oomph to drive that in there and I just absolutely can't think of anything that would make that better because there's a header and there's a frame and then Don't go away. Bigger hammer work more better. The nice thing is it can't leak any worse than it already is. Right? Oh, that's the color. working on your back on the floor is a bunch of crap what I need everybody to do is to go in the comments and tell Mrs. Landshark how bad we need a mid-rise lift in our garage not that she doesn't know it she laid underneath here all day yesterday finishing up the undercoating this is all right when we were young we're not no more It's, it's not the tool, it's just that I can't get it to get a good bite, you know what I mean? Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha, son of a biscuit, look at that. Get it? Boys and girls, friends of all ages, son of a... It worked. So what we got here, 24 minutes into this project, is the seal is out. I'm not losing any fluid. Now if we can get the other one to go back in... We're gonna be done. All right, so let's try to put the other seal in. I just gotta find it. It's gotta be here someplace, right? Hey, Mrs. L. You betcha. I think there's another tool up there that I've neglected to bring with me for okay. installing this. What is it? Oh no, I got it down here. Never I mind. See, the package is empty. My little, my little friend, the fan has been taking care of all. Well, between the fan and the dog, I don't have a lot of napkins left down here. I'll be okay. What you want. I want, uh, I'd like a bush light in a can cozy and a bacon sandwich. Oh, that isn't what we're talking about? Oh, I know what you're saying. I get it now. Well, there's no can cozies here. So here's the new here seal. A I'm naked bush. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you if she looked really close, there'd be a can cozy in the refrigerator. We don't have to tell her that though, do we, folks? I mean, right? She should know that by now. She should know me better than that. All right? So they're gonna do the same hammering project with this? Oh, it's got like a little driver. 
Son of a, you know, this isn't really what I was going to do today. So I don't know if that worked. But there's a new seal in there. I should have probably put some Hoover Schneever Glubelheimer on there. Also, when I'm underneath here, I decided I'm going to put, um, I never had the uh, vacuum modulator hooked up, silly boy. So I'm going to do that. I don't know why. It's probably from all the years of not having a vacuum modulator like on the circle track cars. That I probably just, I don't know. So a tool we bought however long ago, honey, it worked. Pretty impressive. I'd already been underneath here an hour with picks trying to fix us. And then I'm like, Golly, I think I got it. This is a this is a sign that I have to go through my tool drawer of of my just specific tools because we dug a long ways. I'll get the rest of the shifter hooked up. Cyclops is going dead. thing I notice is this stupid nut on this transmission is 15 millimeter so came transmission came out of a 77 Corvette but it's the only fastener I found because I went through this transmission checked it over and it's the only fastener I found that was metric was this nut that holds the Shift shaft on. Shift shaft. Shift shaft. And the 50 millimeter socket is four and a quarter inches out of my reach. I got it though. I think I want to take the rest of the day off and just do what Jake's doing. Chasing bugs. Loving it. Well, he's not smart. End of one of our last videos, you saw this transmission leak we were having problem. And uh, I haven't got it fixed yet. I'm not going to bore you with it. But what I did on the top is that this transmission, for some reason, when you use a invert, like a, a brake line, you know, or, or a line that goes into an inverted flare like that, it, it's leaking. It's just seeping a little bit. So what I got was... Uh, It's a 5 16 inverted flare on one end to 5 16 hose barb. And there's no, it's not, it doesn't swivel like a brake line does. So I was able to screw that in and fix that problem up here. I just got to do the one down on the bottom. It does involve me cutting the end off of my tranny cooler lines so that you can just put a short piece of hose in there to go into that hose barb that's on there. Cured the problem on the top. I, I'm pretty confident it will on the bottom. If it doesn't cure the problem, I'll just put an auxiliary tranny cooler in, run the hoses around, and zip tie it or zip it into the front um, like we've done with everything else. But we kind of want to use the one that's in this beautiful radiator we just bought. So that, that's, that'll, that should hopefully clear up our last transmission leak. God, the red plug wires, I love them. Look at that. Oh, jeez. all locked up on the fly. He doesn't know the fly come to this side of the chair. <laughs> Dumber than a box of rocks. Alright, so here's a little tool out in the light so you can see what I was talking about. That worked its way into the seal and then I tightened this down against the shift shaft popped her right out has a little driver to put it in if there had been a little more clearance underneath there it wouldn't have been a huge issue I went ahead to have a meltdown 
that's the part number on that tool it's called a GM transmission seal tool this is all the tools I used prior to that to try and get that son of a gun to let loose but we got her out hopefully that's gonna free up our leak we've got one leak in the transmission cooler on the radiator that we got to take care of we're gonna align the hood we're gonna get some exhaust we're fixing to go on vacation so y'all have a good time if you miss one of our videos that's why we're out and about I'm gonna drink this bush light never forget drive your shit we'll see ya